Hey, what's up, everybody? So you're not going to see my face today because we're just going to do some mojo tips and tricks in this video. So I just wanted to go over just a few things uh, that I have found uh, helpful in mojo and just make sure you guys know about it and that you're able to use these things. So I think the, the first thing I want to go over is just make sure that you guys know the power of the power dialer. So when you go in here and you got your list, you know, some I've, I've read some places or heard of people who kind of create different groups or different lists um, because they want to um, put, you know, segment their expired data because they want to call, you know, the new ones and then they're going to move the old ones into another group. And it's just, it's a lot of shuffling around of data. And uh, trust me, I used to do it. Um, you know, I'd have like a group or a list for day one, for day two, and I just shuffling all these records around and it was kind of ridiculous. So, because, and it's only ridiculous because you don't really need to because of what you can do in the power dialer. So, you know, all these options here, which you can utilize so that you don't have to move data around. Like for cold calling, you know, I have a zip code here that, you know, I generally choose, I want to dial people that I haven't dialed in six months and that I haven't talked to or contacted in 365 days. So that just, that always allows me to keep one list and I know that by using these filters, I'm only going to pull in the people into my dialer that I that I want to um, call because I haven't called them in six months or I haven't talked to them in a year. Um, you can also like one thing that uh, that I do like for expireds where you know for the first three days I would always call them and then after that I'd put them into an older bucket and I'd go through that in the afternoon. Well, now like you can use status change date. And so now what I do is I call all the ones every morning. I call the ones from the past two weeks. So I just go back here and put in status change because you got to put in status change. It's better than create date because, you know, people who have expired multiple times, they're going to have a create date um, of the first time they ever showed up in your database. But, you know, maybe if they went expired in January of 2017, um, but then they just expired again. Um, if you use create date, you're not going to pick those people up if you're selecting the last two weeks. That's why you use status change because it's going to pull the um, the status change um, that's going to pull in all the ones that have changed in the last two weeks. I don't really use this reverse date. I guess that's uh, it'll call things oldest to newest. I usually call newest to oldest. And list price, I think they should get this out of here because I think you should already have filtered that out um, through the sub list that you can create, or you shouldn't even filter it on price because you should be calling everybody. So these are some of the options that we have available in Mojo that allows us to not have to shuffle data around. We can just pinpoint who we want to call and pull all those records into the dialer at one time. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, a couple other things that I was just going through here and wanted to point out. Now one thing is like, I'm sure you guys, hopefully you're leaving voicemails and you know, I leave voicemails as well. Um, and one of the options here is the no wait voicemail drop. So I have this checked. So what that means is because I have this checked, as soon as I click that button to drop the voicemail, it's it's going to immediately drop my voicemail versus when the when it picks up and it's you're hearing the message and then you can just go ahead and click it and it's going to wait for the beep. I've heard and I don't really have any scientific data to back this up that this is a preferred way to go, that there's a lot of different things that can happen when you um, have the system detect the beep and then start the message versus you just waiting the extra few seconds 
and then clicking the button and then the message start, starts. You know that it's it's happening as it should. So I just wanted to point that out. Maybe check that out in your settings. Um, I know there's been some um, talk in the WGR Academy Facebook group recently and maybe even the Fearless Agent Facebook group about what's the best option here. And I think this checked. I think it makes the most sense. So I just wanted to definitely point that out. And then I was trying to see if there was anything else I wanted to share with you guys. Though Maybe you guys don't know about this, but there's this uh, prospecting uh, analyzer. And you can go in here and you can set your goal. You can, um, you know, you know, goal span, it's going to be a week. I want appointments as my metric. How many? Five and auto renew. So every single week it's going to be the same thing. So you can set this up. And then what this does is it, when you're, when you have your dialer up, it's going to tell you how many more, you know, hours or contacts whatever whatever you choose by one of these things please select one of the metrics you wish to be displayed on the dial screen how many prospecting hours to reach my goal so it always has a little thing up there that tells me how many hours that it's going to take for me to reach my goal so this is the prospecting analyzer this i think i think this started out as an app and now like the functionality has been put in here as well so um so this is something that uh, i think it's pretty cool just to check on like this week um, you know, I've got four appointments, um, I guess it's four hours per appointment, 44 contacts, and then 16 calls, uh, every 16 calls I get a contact. So I think this is just pretty cool to know, and it just kind of helps you uh, focus on, hey, I just, I got this many more hours to my next appointment, and it just helps you go. So those are just a few things I wanted to share with you, just some of the, some of the powerful options in the power dialer, keeps you from having to shuffle data around into different groups and lists. And then, you know, that that message uh, function to make sure you have that selected for, you know, whether you want to have the system detect the beep and then start the message or if you want to manually start the message yourself. And then this prospecting analyzer, make sure you're using this so you, you know how many more you got to your goal and then how many hours or contacts it's going to take to hit that goal. So appreciate you watching. Go ahead and subscribe. Just hit the button. It's, it's no problem at all. And uh, we'll see you on the next Mojo video. Thanks and have a great day.